In this video, I am going to show you a remarkably simple and very useful tip, trick, idea for adding two fractional numbers together. I have used this over the years to add fractional numbers together. It can be used in any of the trades. And this is a Bob trick. I learned this from Bob, the old time carpenter. If you've watched my videos, you know that I've mentioned Bob before and I've showed you things that he taught me. I have never seen this on a YouTube video. I don't know if I've ever even seen anyone else use this uh, when I was working in the trades, unless I showed them. This is for adding like, let's say you have a complicated addition. You, you have something that's 12 and 7 sixteenths and you want to add <clears throat> uh, five and three eighths, okay? Now, a lot of people can calculate that in their head. I could probably calculate that in my head, but it would take me a while. I wasn't born with the math gene. But there's no need to calculate it in your head when you know what I'm about to show you here. And you don't need to get your pencil out and get common denominators and all of that. This is so simple. Let me show you. Okay, you're gonna need three things to do this trick. A tape measure, a pencil with a sharp point, and a length of wood or uh, the top of your sawhorse or a piece of drywall, something straight and stiff. Now I'm gonna show you two examples. One's gonna be a simple uh, fraction addition. We'll say five and a half and seven and a half. All right, and the way we do that is we hold our tape on, the, clipped over the end of the board over here, and either mark five and a half or seven and a half. I'll mark seven and a half. And then to add five and a half to it, we come over here, five and a half. Hold it right on the end, five and a half. You get your finger in there, you can kind of hold it from moving. And what do we got? Over here, we got 13. Five and a half, seven and a half, that's 13. So that's the concept. It's very simple. Now let me just show you one more example. We'll take that 12 and 7 sixteenths and 5 and 3 eighths uh, that I mentioned earlier. So here we can go uh, 12 and 7 sixteenths. I'm going to make a mark right there. Okay. And what was the other number? 5, five and 3 eighths. So I'm going to hang 5 and 3 eighths over, over the end. Hold it there and take a look at my mark. And I have 17 and 13 sixteenths. And uh, that's one little mark past three quarter. So there you go. That's how you do it. That's all there is to it. It is so simple. It is so fast. Remember this trick. Thank you, Bob. We'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.